Welcome back, John Fedro with mobilehomeinvesting.net. If you're watching this video, you are concerned about the future of mobile home investing. Uh, what are you getting into? What are you already into? Uh, and what I think was might probably happen in the future. Let's talk about the past in order to help us kind of see the future a little bit clearer. And because my audience doesn't like to listen to my voice uh, for longer than maybe five minutes, let's put five minutes up on the clock uh, and see if I can get through a video in actually five minutes or less. We're talking about these sort of five factors mostly, available cash, interest rates, supply, the buyer demand and supply chain issues. And those can either go up, they can go down. We're gonna talk about those in the next few slides, how they relate to you as an investor. Um, we're gonna talk about mobile home prices, selling for all cash, payments, lot rents going up and down. Let's talk about this. In 2002 to 2017, this happened uh, because I was there. And you have available cash for mobile homes low. People really weren't interested in mobile homes because they could afford other things. Interest rates were low. Supplier Supplies of mobile homes were higher than they are today. The buyer demand for mobile homes, again, was lower because people could afford a house uh, to live in. And the supply chain issues, there really weren't any. Mobile home prices stayed lowish, all cash. Uh, you could sell for all cash. That's what I mean by all cash. Um, you could sell, but it was fewer. Um, the deals had to be good. So most of what we were doing at mobile home investors were selling on payments. I'd say the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of our deals were sold on payments and 20% for cash. Um, and then selling payments is no issue. Apartment rents fluctuated, lot rents increased slowly. Um, and that was from 2002 to 2017. In 2017, uh, to 2000 early this earlier this year the beginning of this year 2022 I want to show you a chart here of mobile home prices this was back in 2015 or so but almost doubling from eighty thousand dollars new to forty thousand or hundred and forty thousand dollars today prices have shot up almost doubled in less than 10 years which is crazy that our money buys us that less and mobile homes are that for some reason, you know, they've appreciated or they're, they're that much more in value now. Let's talk about 2017 through COVID into early 2022. Available cash was up. Interest rates low. Supply low. Demand from buyers high. Supply chain issues didn't really start until 2020. But number one, you can see here, mobile home prices are, were increasing monthly. Uh, sometimes you go from month to the next month and we'd increase prices five grand or you'd be leaving money on the table and there's active buyers paying those prices. Um, so I've never seen that before. That's that's crazy. And I'd say from 2017 to 2022, that 80-20 number flipped where 80% of our deals as mobile home investors were sold cash, are being sold cash even to this point right now uh, as this video comes out uh, and 20 for 20% on payments and we can sell more on payments but we've been finding is that we try to sell on payments and then people with cash say well I don't want to make you payments here take this cash and we're like okay and so um, uh, all cash you can sell fast um, in the last five years you can sell a mobile home for cash fast if the price is right and you're in a metro market but not even a metro market you can be in more rural markets as well and still sell very very ca fast for cash because again supply is low demand is high uh, selling for payments no issue as usual uh, apartment rents and lot lease lot rents uh, increased um, normally well more so than the previous 15 years but um, yeah, in the last five years, lot rents have been sort of shooting up. The demand for mobile home parks is more uh, attractive. And so people are investing in those parks and then increasing the lot rent significantly sometimes in areas. Still allows us to buy and sell, still allows us to sell on payment, sell for cash. Let's talk about this year, 2022, the early part of this year to mid 2022, uh, early July that I'm recording this. Let's talk about available cash. It's a bit lower. Uh, interest rates are going up. Supply is still low. Demand from buyers is still high. Supply chain issues are still there. And I want to talk and show you uh, some graphs here. This is from Sun Communities, and I have another one from UMH right here. And you'll see that the stock price is much like the rest of the stock market, has drastically uh, went down to gave back pre-COVID prices. Uh, the same with UMH properties here. And even though the value has gone down to pre-COVID prices on the stocks, 
that does not really translate for the actual mobile homes themselves because the mobile home prices are still pricey. Um, now, uh, I have definitely been noticed mobile home prices are stalling or they're dipping a bit. Uh, people that are buying more expensive mobile homes are selling one property. And if the financing falls through from the buyer, the buyer that's buying the, the, the house that somebody's selling, and then that person's going to buy a mobile home, well, that person can only buy the mobile home if they sell their house. And they can only sell their house if they get financing. And When interest rates go up, people don't want to borrow money as much. So these uh, there's more supply in the market with mobile homes slightly. Prices are stalling and dipping, but they're not falling. They're not crashing by any means. Can you sell for all cash? Yes. Yes, you can by all means. Slightly slower though. If you want to sell for the same price, you have to wait longer in many areas. In some areas, that's not the case. And Things are going to go in a heartbeat, but the price has to be right. Selling on payments, yeah, it's a great time. Or renting, hold the property, believe it's going to be worth more in the future, and uh, rent it if possible if it's on your own land or if it's in a park that allows renting. Apartment rents, lot, re lot rents, <laughs> I can't say that, uh, have been increasing as well. Possible U.S., so this is possible from today moving forward to early next year 2023 available cash it is will be lower interest rates will probably be higher the supply will be lowered buyer demand will still be high time out keep the clock running i'd like to go back two slides to show you something that i missed back from 2017 to 2022 when prices were rocketing up for pretty much everything the available cash was up supply was low and buyer demand was high these three are important here available cash the supply is low demand is high now let's go uh to the last um six months or so the supply is still low demand is high but the available cash is lower it seems like or people are holding on to their money a bit more which is causing prices to stall and to dip now again moving forward now we're on this the slide of possible the rest of this year type of market available cash i see it as being lower uh, interest rates still climbing supply again low demand same is being high still some supply chain issues um, there's a war going on. There's still supply chain issues. Mobile home prices will hold or dip slightly because people have less cash. So mobile home prices uh, for cash could hold or they'll dip slightly. Now all cash, I believe you'll still be able to sell for cash. Now tip, be careful. If you're going to be investing in a mobile home, fixing it up for three months or more, four months, which is a long time, five months, or if you're expecting things to take that long, uh, you know, six months could be very a different market. Uh, selling on payments, yeah, it's a great time to sell on payments. Sell for a high price, lock in that price, have somebody make you payments. Hopefully they pay you off. If they don't, you'll get the home back. You can then resell it um, or they can resell it and then pay you off the rest of the money. Lot rents and apartment rents uh, and lot rents are going to increase. Uh, now let's go to the next slide which is further on into the market and i don't have a crystal ball uh, nobody does nobody can see the future clearly of what's going to happen i can definitely tell you mobile home prices will either rise or they'll lower or they'll stay the same but they'll probably either go up or down i do believe the available cash is going to be lower interest rates will still be up the supply and demand may fluctuate uh, but the buyer demand for affordable housing, I believe, will be through the roof. If you want to look at the number two bullet here, some sellers will need help and need money very fast. I believe that there's going to be a lot of people that are in a tough situation, which is the same as now. Even as mobile home investors now, we're helping and we'll, we're dealing with people that are in fragile situations sometimes. Our job is to help people and give them their options and um, get them through sometimes like a rough point in their life, which again, I feel will there'll be more people in need, more people in pain. Um, can you sell for cash? Yes, we always could sell for cash, but you need to know your resale numbers. It's so important now more than ever when a market's going up, 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 then it's tough to 
do bad deals, or you absolutely still can. Uh, but when the market is stagnant or going down, always purchase significantly under market value. Mobile homes during the boom and the bust make money, but we have to know how to buy them and how to sell them as well. You buy them for cash, you sell them for cash, you buy them for payments, maybe you sell them for payments as well. Subscribe to this channel for the latest updates. That's how you're gonna know what these mobile home prices are doing. I try to put out these uh, updated videos to let you know what's going on. And selling for payments, it's gonna be a great time as usual, in my opinion, that won't change with mobile homes. Lot rents are gonna to continue to rise. I do have some predictions, these are just predictions. More evictions in parks will happen. I do believe there'll be some kind of eviction, not moratorium, but sort of moratorium or something. Uh, in place, there will be a greater divide between the wealthy folks uh, and people that are l the poor folks, um, which uh, I don't know what type of uh, issues that's going to bring through, but there's going to be more and more of a need of affordable housing. I think most of us agree to that. I do believe that there will be more permitted mobile home parks as well being built. Um, oh, I really want that to there to be more mobile home parks out there. Uh, for this type of unsubsidized affordable housing. I think that's the world is, uh, or the USA is very much in need of uh, that and some ethical mobile home park owners. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it made sense. Uh, I don't think we made the five minute deadline, but I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. You can always uh, reach out and find out more information about mobile home investing at mobilehomeinvesting.net. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.